This is solenoid and SFR instructions for the Geo R5. First thing we need to do in order to access the solenoid assembly and the SFR is to remove the grips and the frame. Remove the two frame screws. separate the body from the frame. The body can be placed to one side now. Solenoid assembly can be found here. SFR adjustment is here. In order to remove the solenoid assembly we need to um, unplug the solenoid. Uh, the solenoid here is the black and yellow wires. Just need to carefully work those free so that we can unplug from the uh, PCB. Just lift those out and away and we can lift the wires on this end here and unplug from the MME board. Right, carefully pull it out of the way. Once we've unplugged we can remove the solenoid retaining pin. Just push through from the small side push that out, place the pin to one side. Now slide the solenoid assembly out through the top of the frame, making sure we don't catch any wires on the way out. Carefully feed the wires, solenoid wires, and the plug through, out through the top of the frame. The frame can now be placed to one side as well. And here we have the solenoid assembly. In the side of the solenoid assembly, we have the SFR. There are two SFRs. This is the factory recommended SFR, which is the silver one. There is also a brass gold colored SFR. That is a more restrictive um, SFR. Normal playing conditions, we recommend the silver SFR set to the medium point or to the plus side. Uh, for those wanting an extra smooth and soft shot you may want to try turning this to the negative side or replacing this altogether with the brass SFR. Please be aware that replacing this or adjusting this to the minus side or replacing it with the brass SFR will require more regular maintenance of your drivetrain assembly. Um, also the brass SFR is not recommended for use in cold um, or wet playing conditions. If you do want to remove the SFR, simply push it from the other side through the small hole. The SFR will slide out. Replace it, slide it back in. As said before, the recommended setting is from the midpoint of the adjustment towards the top side or the plus side. We're going to set this back in its factory position which is medium. Now to take the rest of the solenoid assembly apart. First of all we'll remove the gasket from the top. This just pulls out. Then have two screws in the solenoid. Pilot the small white and silver piece is the pilot valve. Just remove the two retaining screws from that and lift that out. There's a little manifold, two small retaining screws in. You can loosen both of those. 
and when I fold the lift off, place that to the side. This just leaves now the solenoid body and the spool. This is the disc in the center there. In order to remove the spool, take one of the uh, pilot valve screws, so one of the screws that was holding the pilot valve in, simply screw that into the back of the spool. Remove. All we need to do now is take a microfiber, clean off the old grease. We'll take some fresh grease, apply that to the seals around the spool. You can slide the spool back into the solenoid body and remove the screw that we used to remove it. Again, we just clean off the surfaces of any old grease. Then take a small manifold plate, place that back down using the locating pins and the holes on the two components. Carefully put the screws back in. These don't need to be tight. These just hold the manifold in place while the solenoid, the solenoid pilot is being attached. You can then put the pilot back on. The long screws back through the manifold and into solenoid body. Those can be screwed back into place. And then you can just apply a little bit of tension to each of those screws, alternating from one side to the other. And that is the solenoid assembly rebuilt. At this point, if you like, you can put gasket back in before we assemble it back into the frame. Inside the frame, you can see inside here there is another large round gasket um, that normally stays inside the body. If you do need to take it out, you can just remove it using a pick or a, the end of a screwdriver. And obviously before we slide the solenoid assembly back in, we want to just make sure that the wires are out of the way and they're tucked to one side. And then we're going to feed the uh, pilot wires, solenoid wires, back through the frame and into the internal pocket where the little electronic circuit board is, and we'll drop the solenoid assembly back in. Make sure that the holes for the SFR and hole for the retaining pin are lined up. Hold it all in place while we slide the pin back in. Push that in until it's flush. And we can take the solenoid wire and we can carefully push that back in. Make sure it's pushed all the way down the MME board and then tuck the wires back out of the way. Make sure all the wires are tucked away. Before we re reassemble back onto the main body, again, finally make sure that the gasket is in place. Hook the body the frame together. Put the screws back in. And both in loosely first. <clears throat> And then we can tighten both. Again, these do not need to be over tightened. Small amount of torque on each one. We can now start to rebuild the rest of the gun, the grips, the drivetrain finally. <coughs> Make sure the grips are clipped in, 
on the top edge on both sides before sliding on the rear section clipping that down and then locking the latches finally the drivetrain goes back in and that was the solenoid and SFR maintenance and replacement on a Geo R5.